Hello, this is a weekly review of an inspiring artist work and today's photographer is Nadine Yevera. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly so I apologize in advance. Um, she is a female photographer based in London. She was born in uh, 1992 in South London and was um, her parents were Nigerian and Jamaican and uh, she was raised in South London, but um, I, she was raised aware, being aware of her cultural heritage. And uh, what is really interesting about her work that you can see how her cultural background comes through in all of her images. So what is notable about Nadine's uh, achievements by the time she's only 28 she was already um, uh, published in a lot of uh, high-end uh, uh, publications. For example, ID Magazine, Garage Magazine, British Vogue, Wall Street Journal, Allure. She shot for Stella McCartney, Valentino, Selfridges. And um, her work was also exhibited at Tate Britain Generation Exhibition. Uh, and the interesting thing is, uh, she was the first woman of color to photograph a Vogue uh, cover in the whole 125 year history of the magazine. And I think this is a very significant event, not for only Nadine's career, but in general. Uh, for women in this industry, in fashion industry, and for women of color especially. So, uh, let's take a look at her work. So, when you know that she is um, of the Jamaican and Nigerian background, you will definitely see how much she tries to bring her cultural background into her work. And when she talks about her work, she says that her, you know, when she actually went to school for um, uh, fashion photography, London College of Fashion, and her uh, thesis name was Misrepresentation of Representation, when she tried to overcome the stereotypes and reject the stereotypes of uh, fetishizing uh, orientalism in fashion and so she tries to show orientalism in its natural in its real more realistic way um, and she you can see that she photographs mainly models of color or models of um, Asian or African background uh, not so many white models and you can see her interest in, in their own culture and all this, um, you know, uh, ways of styling, uh, colorful patterns, uh, expressing themselves as who they really are. And um, I think its main focus became the main focus of her work because when she was growing up, she says that looking at the pages of magazines, she couldn't relate to anyone. She couldn't see anyone who, you know, who she could identify with. And with her work, she's trying to send a message that everyone can be represented and can be accepted and uh, can be seen and uh, is welcome in fashion. And this work is absolutely extraordinary in a way how how honest and how raw it is, how focused she is uh, on the message that she is carrying, the message she's, she's trying to get across. And she's truly interested in her subject, in their personality, in their background, and you know, in them expressing themselves for the camera. And she does a lot of fashion work. She photographed Dua Lipa for Vogue. Um, but she also does uh, personal projects and more fine art work. And she had a couple of projects where she had to travel to um, the places where her parents are from. 
So for example, the one she shot, project she shot in Nigeria, um, she photographed this for Stella McCartney. And this whole project is so um, touching. It's just, you know, it's so real how this how these characters, how the subjects are in that environment. They're just so themselves and they're so raw and, you know, they're not typical fashion models. And obviously the, the surroundings also set the story so well that it's not, you know, a fashion background, just real background, real, uh, real life of real people. And she wanted to bring that raw earthy element to this whole shoot and it's I don't know it's much more interesting to look at rather than typical fashion images they're, they're much more touching the subjects and also the expressions and the way she directs models is really really good and really works for what she wants to say wants how she wants to reflect their culture and their identity and another project that uh, she also did based on her heritage is um, shot in uh, Jamaica um, with, in col collaboration with a hairstylist who's also Jamaican. And in this project, she was focusing particularly on hairstyles and the way Jamaican women express themselves through hair. And the life is, of course, very, very hard, but they, this is the way of sort of coping and being strong and you know expressing all that they have inside uh, so really beautiful really beautiful colorful backgrounds unusual angles very you know very specific point of view uh, just trying to reveal their real characters make a statement so mm, if you have a moment, I really encourage you to check out this particular project. I found it very, very inspiring. And to also learn about women in Jamaica and, you know, what their life is like. I think it's very, very interesting. And in general, I think check out definitely Nadine's website to see more of her work, uh, to see how she approaches her compositions, how she approaches her color, how she's able to bring who she is and her mission as a photographer of, you know, breaking the uh, cultural stereotypes, um, bringing in more voices into the fashion and fine art industry and um, just learning more about her, how she specifically was focusing on uh, mixed race, uh, women of color subjects from the very beginning in her career even before she started even photographing fashion she already knew that this is what she was going to do she was not going to you know go a stereotypical way photographing something that will be you know expected and accepted by the industry i think it's very very respectful her position and her point of view and what she does so definitely go go and uh, check out more of her work and hopefully it will inspire you as much as it inspires me. And if you would like to see more artist reviews or you would like to see more of your own work review or any of my tips and tricks, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my Patreon channel and check out my other channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for watching.